It's only snow. Driver said there will be more snow on the way. Said Duck. We'll soon be wearing our snowplows. Said Boko. You will enjoy that, won't you, Thomas? Teased Oliver. You know I won't. Said Thomas. I don't like my snowplow. Before Tom was about to leave, the fat controller came to see him. I need you to collect a special from the junction. It is needed for the village fees on Toby's branch line. Thomas was excited about his special. Also, sir, you know my snowplow. It is awkward and uncomfortable. Do I have to wear it? Everyone has to wear a snowplow," said the fat controller. The fitters, his driver, and fireman all helped with Thomas's snowplow. Big, hard, awkward thing," Thomas grumbled. He was much happier when he arrived at the junction and saw his special. It was a beautiful Christmas tree that was brought him by Bear. The tree will have lights and stand in the middle of the village. Make sure you get it to Toby safely. Yes, I will, Bear," said Thomas, and he set off. Thomas arrived at Farquhar, where Toby was there. He was very happy to see him. He was. Delivering the villagers' feasts, the villagers would be delighted with this tree. Toby said, "I'm glad you had your snowplow. I can't clear the snowdrifts by myself." They didn't travel that far until they saw heaps of snow, and Thomas pushed it through. But he could not see there was a huge rock buried under the snow. Suddenly, his snowplow hit the rock. Bouncing buffers! cried Thomas. My plow is broken. His driver tried to stop, but the broken plow hit the water tower. The plow was completely bented upon impact, and now it cannot be used to clear the line. We can't go any further, said Thomas's driver, and there's no one to help us. But the villagers need their tree, said Thomas. Let me try again. I'm sure I could make it. It wasn't easy without a snowplow, but Thomas was determined. He pushed, and he pushed, and he pushed. Thomas was trying as hard as he could, but there is just one snowdrift after another. Finally, they were able to pass through the snowdrifts and pulled into the village station. Thomas whistled, and the villagers rushed onto the platform and cheered when they saw their beautiful tree. "Hooray!" they said. "Hooray!" to Thomas and Toby. But mostly to Thomas. Thomas returned to the big station at the end of the day, where the fat controller was there. What would the fat controller say about his broken snowplow? Thomas thought. But the fat controller was not cross. He was very pleased. The villagers had a wonderful feast. He said, "You were very brave to take on that snow without a plow." Thank you, sir," said Thomas. As you know, there are no spare snowplows, so you just have to do it without yours for a while. Oh, thank you, sir," grinned Thomas.